Debt makes you poor, not wealthy. Romans chapter 13, verse 8 says, O no man anything but to love one another, for he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law. Proverbs chapter 22, verse 7 says, The rich ruleth over the poor, and the borrower is servant to the lender. I uh, wanted to do a video on this article here. It came out a little while ago, um, February 10th, so a couple weeks ago. But down here, you get into this thing, and it says this guy bought this uh, 2023 Chevy Tahoe here for uh, basically $3,000 a month and uh, locked into a 96-month term. And some guy wrote here and he said $288,000 for a truck that will depreciate to one-fifth of that long before it's paid off. Um, $288,000. See, this is what people don't realize. When you buy things with debt, with the interest and everything else that you pay, all the fees and everything, you're paying multiple times over what that thing's actually worth. And you'll never get your money back. Right? Give you another example here. This is a place that uh, we were actually thinking about looking about this, and I found out that it's got some major problems. But um, $169,000 for a bigger place was a former um, lumber company office, and they're trying to turn it into a, a house. Um, but if you get down here, you're looking at uh, $1,042 per month, okay, uh, with 30% down at $50,970. So if you go with there's 12 months in a year times 30, that's 360. So let me get my little calculator here. So 360 months over 30 years, in other words, and that's times 1,042 a month, you're spending $375,120 plus the initial down payment of $50,970. So you're looking at $426 thousand dollars till this whole thing's paid off asking price is 169 900 so again how are you going to build wealth if you're buying things with debt you're paying huge amounts of money uh, over twice as much uh, for that you know till all your uh, interest payments are done and another thing I want to point out here something which I've talked about in other studies and you have to watch over this thing if you're looking to buy a house here you have to check into it okay look at this this is what they're asking 169,900 sale history last sold on July 1st 2020 for forty five thousand dollars is all that they paid for this place so they're saying forty five thousand is what they paid and yet they're trying to get up one hundred sixty nine thousand nine hundred a little bit of price gouging there I don't think they put that much money into it and you also have to check in the tax history. Look at the assessed value, $78,100. So is it worth $170,000 essentially? Uh, not at all. If you want to see more stuff on debt, you can just go to the search thing here on my channel. I did five different videos here in debt. Gene Kim says it's okay to be in debt. Debt's bad. It's spoken of everywhere in scripture as bad. But if you have necessary debt, then that's okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, why most Americans are drowning in debt. Are debtor prisons in America's future? I think that's getting close. That I made that before this great taking book came out. And that great taking book really kind of reinforces what I was saying there. A nation of debtor slaves going over how much people owe. A lot of people that get into debt with car payments and house you know, mortgage and all the other types of payments that they have. Um, that's another one that you can watch. Why debtors will take the mark of the beast. Just a theory that I had in that video there where I think that people um, will, as a way to pay off their debts, they'll go into the Mark of the Beast system and willingly take it. We'll see that with the central bank digital currency thing as well. And then this one here is a very important sermon. American slavery never ended. And I talk about what debt is and how it's used and whatever else. And you're basically signing your name onto a piece of paper saying it's kind of an IOU. You are a security. And uh, that's why the rich rule is over the poor, right? They make you poor through debt. And it's just a, it's amazing. Um, I've been debt free now for many years and I don't make a huge amount of money. And yet we are doing pretty well because of being debt free. Now you have to build up. You start out small and you start to build up and you buy more assets and things like that. And you stay away from debt for any reason. 
and it doesn't take very long, you know, after 10 years of, of working hard at this, we're financially pretty, pretty good. Not millionaires or anything by any stretch of the imagination, but we're doing well, much better than most people. So um, really, I just want to stress to people, do what you can to get debt free. Okay, please study the issue because, quite frankly, this is another one of those topics that most preachers will not discuss because they're drowning in debt themselves. They owe money on their church buildings. They owe money on their houses, their mortgaged houses and everything else, their college, Bible college, and you know, they go into debt to do that. Absolutely terrible. So you're not going to hear many other preachers talking about this issue. But I just I saw that article on Zero Hedge the other day, and, you know, I just thought, you have to be kidding me. $288,000 for a vehicle to all the payments are done and everything. Um, please don't fall for the debt trap. Okay, and if you're in it, there's a lot of things that you can do to get out of it. All right, which I discussed a lot of that in this study. So that will be it. Thank you very much for watching.